Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's Trey back again. Hit you with another video. And yes, that is my trademark, YouTube, YouTube. For all you haters out there who don't like it, and for all you people out there who love it, that's my slogan. Every man, every woman got to have their intro. So that is mine for now until I decide to change it up. But anyway, I hope that everyone had a good 4th of July. Didn't eat too much uh, fat back, barbecue ribs, chicken, sausages, dirty rice, potato salad. And you notice every year it's always the same person making the same potato salad because you can't have no different aunties and uncles and cousins and nephews making your potato salad. It might come out too thick and it might come out too watery. So anyway, I just hope everybody had a good 4th of July yesterday. I know some of, a lot of you all sitting on your ass right now still tired and full and everything talking about I ain't going into work and a lot of you all called in to work you know a lot of you all jobs gonna shut down tomorrow too let's hope you're not one of these people that work at one of these gas stations that uh people gonna need their gas you feel what i'm saying so in this video we have uh this grown up customer we gonna call him jerome jerome's in the house jerome's in the uh, 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 watch your mouth that type of shit right there so in a way jerome wasn't in the house jerome decided to go to a gas station and basically decide to do a little what we used to call back in the day five finger discount and for those of you who's not too familiar with the five finger discount that means you use your hand five fingers and get a discount but the discount not only be 75 85 percent which is astronomical it'd be a hundred percent discount which means the shit is basically free because you're stealing it you feel what i'm saying now, i'm not condoning nobody go out there stealing or anything else all i'm saying is this is what a five finger discount is now jerome goes through the store instead of him going in there picking up food picking up uh soda pops picking up uh jolly ranchers and stuff like that he decided to go get some of that uh what we call that midnight oil some of that beer back there some of that malt liquor filled with manganese and every kind of thing to make you go crazy and you wonder why a lot of people in these uh inner city neighborhoods losing their mind because of that bullshit poison that they drinking that uh cheap ass beer uh how can you have a uh, big 40 ounce beer uh three for one dollar you know if you got a beer three for one dollar you might don't need that they probably just hook that up straight to a sewer line and let a bull piss in it you see what i'm saying so you know hey to each their own but anyway this guy decides to go up in the store and out of all stores he picked he picked the wrong goddamn store that day you know i, I bet he wish he would have never went up in that store but see that's what these tough ass dudes uh like to think like they can just go and run over people and, and you should see the clerk coming off around the counter like hey uh jerome can i help you because evidently he must know jerome because if you see how you approach him you approach him like you know like a brother like hey what's up i know your broke ass and he ain't got no damn money so what you basically doing in my damn store today jerome you know you, you ain't got shit you ain't got no job you ain't got no you ain't, you ain't got nothing to do you feel what i'm saying like smoker said off friday so jerome decides to say what well, man i got it so the clerk goes off around you know go back around the counter and everything you know doing his daily routine probably getting the receipts ready from the lottery you know what i'm saying uh probably counting his cash drawer and jerome puts the you know little case of beer right there on a uh on the counter and i guess he thought that the kirk uh the clerk was uh excuse my french was a pussy i think i guess he thought the kirk the clerk was pretty much a coward so he's looking around the corner i guess he's waiting for the backup to come or you know whoever the getaway driver is i didn't know you needed a getaway driver if you're still in a uh a 12 pack or a case of bill you know i don't i ain't, I ain't think it was that serious and evidently jerome didn't need it because he just decided to walk completely out the damn store like like the like you know like the hell with this store and the hell with this clerk you know what i'm saying we finna go get drunk off of this I already got a dime sack we finna go chill behind one of these trees behind somebody else you know how they do up in them trails and stuff i know i ain't the only one when i was young walked up on people behind trees and shit getting drunk like damn i ain't know there was a damn i ain't know it was a little space back here for y'all to the chill that got picnic tables and everything beer cans everywhere when you see all that throughout the hood you know i used to see it all the time when i was young but anyway so jerome decides to uh do the unthinkable like alicia key says basically and take his happy ass outside with the beer thinking that this man i guess was a punk or something and little did he know that clerk come right behind his ass and the clerk was on his ass like white on rice you see what i'm saying like flies on shit and basically i guess they both were shocked because that's when you see the other guy come from around the corner which i don't even know so we just gonna call him 
we just gonna call him Keith because there's always a damn Keith and a Jerome getting in trouble some damn well. If you think I'm lying, open your newspaper up right now, look in there, you'll see a Jerome and Keith uh, battery, uh, drug dealing, all kinds of shit. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Just some with the names and for all the uh, viewers and subscribers, if your name Jerome and Keith, hey, no offense, maybe you maybe you was the one that broke the mold. Maybe you was the one that got out the, uh, what they what they call the niche of being uh, a career criminal, in other words. So anyway, the clerk and Jerome and Keith you know they start going at it and i'm like why is y'all out here fighting over a damn 12 pack of beer that don't even belong to you i mean if you're gonna fight fight for your life fight for uh i mean for money if you're gonna do it like that but over beer because if you got the money you can go buy the beer right but if you're gonna fight over anything i mean damn wouldn't, wouldn't it be food wouldn't it be survival but here it is you have people dumbasses fighting over something that's basically is going to kill them and make them act ignorant anyway so how really ignorant are these damn people you feel what i'm saying and I worked at a gas station when I was in college. Matter of fact, the gas station was sit go. It was right across the street from the college. And I had people coming there trying to steal all the time. Guess what? I'm not finna fight y'all. You, you know what? I'm finna call the police on you. Yeah, I was snitching back then. You damn right I was snitching. I was dropping a dime because you wasn't finna make me lose my job in no damn 19 years old when I, you know what I'm saying? When I'm trying to ball all the way through college, you ain't finna set me up and have my weekend spin. I'm broke and shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I got the job at the computer lab at the university. But anyway, uh, I had I so I know I know what the uh the clerk is going through in the store because guys will come in there and they'll look at you like oh this old light skin this old light skin half white looking boy whatever this mixed dude we can go ahead and steal yeah you you can whatever as long as you don't take the wrong thing now if you you can go back there and get all the beer you want you go get all the sodas you want but if you come up here trying to take some money out this drawer oh hell no I can't explain it I got to go down with the drawer you feel what I'm saying but anyway just pick up the phone call the police the police catch their ass crossing the street whatever else. You know, a lot of then they didn't have nerve to get mad at you. Like you snitching? How the hell I'm snitching when I, if I'm at my job doing my job, you come to my job stealing from my job, and I'm supposed to lose my job for you to get drunk or for you to, you know, what I'm saying, eat a hamburger. What kind of shit is that? The nerve of some people. But this is what some people think right here. And evidently, Jerome and Keith thought the same damn thing. And I'm glad that that clerk stood his ground and handled his business. A lot of people say I wouldn't have fought them, but it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with men, it's about respect. Not only did the clerk, you know what I'm saying. Talk, talk to him like a man, holler at him like a man, because you can see when the video first come on, he's basically talking to him. But the fact you you still gonna disrespect me, <laughs> you know, you know how we is as men. You still gonna disrespect me after I'm, I'm seeing and knowing what you're doing. So you basically call me a pussy then. So I got to show you that I'm not a pussy. And I understand because guess what? If the clerk would have let that shit slide. Jerome, Keith, then probably little Daryl, everybody else from the hood would have came in there and cleaned the clerk out. So. You know, you, you, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. But anyway, I just want to hit y'all with this video. Let me know what you think. And if uh, uh, any of you all ever worked in a uh, gas station being a clerk, uh, you know, share, you know, share some of your stories sometimes. You know, put it in the comment sections. Uh, and just and just tell me you know what all went on because i'm sure we got a we got some funny shit to tell but anyway i just want to hit y'all with this video hope you all had a good fourth of july and uh one thing you know you got to keep your guard up guard your grill out there you know i don't care if you're 70 years old 60 years old because i got a few uh subscribers that you know some 50 some 60 a couple of them seven i got uh maybe a handful that's early 80s i'd be like wow okay the the the, the word is reaching but anyway for everybody they got a heartbeat i don't care how old you is Guard your grill, you know what I'm saying? Stay vigilant, stay cautious, and uh, watch out for these damn Jeromes and Keeps. Anyway, you like, subscribe, and share. This has been your boy Trey. Hey, I'm out.